Hello my dear students, I hope you all are safe at your home and I hope you all are taking all the safety measures to avoid this COVID-19. As you know children, I am your math teacher and today I am here with a new topic. Okay children, later on I will tell you the topic. Before telling, I will show you something. Okay? See children, here I have done a division for you. You can see here, 70 is dividend and 4 is divisor. And by dividing 70 by 4, we get the quotient 4 and remainder 1. So we can say 70 is not divisible by 4. Children, see another example. Here, 60 is dividend and 4 is divisor. And by dividing 16 by 4, we get the quotient 4 and remainder 0. So, we can say 16 is divisible by 4. Children, now here I want to introduce a new topic to you that when any smaller number divides a bigger number, then the bigger number, if it is completely divisible by a smaller number, then the bigger number is the multiple of the smaller number. And the smaller number is the factor of the bigger number. Okay children? Here, again, I want to show you a new example. See, 3 into 5, you all know 3 into 5. 3 into 5, we get 50. Hmm? Now, you can see divisions. Again, I have divided 15 by 3 and we get the quotient 5, remainder 0. Means 50 is divisible by 3. Next, 50 divided by 5, quotient is 3, which means 50 is divisible by 5. So, again we can say 3 and 5. 3 and 5. Both these smaller numbers are the factors of this bigger number. And this bigger number is the multiple of these two smaller numbers. So children, let's revise the definition of multiples and factors for one more time. So children, when we multiply two numbers, when we multiply two numbers, then the product obtained is the multiple of the both multiplied number. And both the multiplied numbers are the factor of the product obtained. Okay children, so today we will start multiples and factors topic and now we will uh, discuss, we will discuss that how to find the multiples and factors of given numbers. Yes children, now we will discuss how to find the multiples and factors of given numbers. Okay, so let's take an example 5. 5 is a number and we have to find its multiples. So children, to find the multiples of given number is very very easy. Children, to get the multiples of a given number, simply we have to read its table. Okay children, simply we have to read its table. Means, multiples of 5 will be read its table. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15, 5 fours are 20 and so on. Okay, so here we can see 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. We can get the multiples of 5 by simply reading the table. Okay, let's take another example. Multiples of 7. Again, read its table. 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14, 7 3s are 21, 7 4s are 28 and so on. So all these are the multiples of 7. Okay, now how to find the factors of a given number? Another, let's take another example. For example, 6. We have to find its factors. Okay, children? These were the multiples. Okay? Yes, children. Now to get the factors of 6, we have to check the divisibility of 6 by smaller numbers. By smaller numbers than 6. We have to check its divisibility by smaller numbers than 6. Means, we have, here we will write the smaller numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
and we will also check with 6. We have to check the divisibility of 6 by these numbers. As we know, 6 can be divided by 6. 6 can be divided by 6 because 1, 6 are 6. So, divisible. It is divisible. Okay. Next, 2. 2, 3 are 6. Again divisible. Next, 3. 3, 2 are 6. Again divisible. Now, 4. 4 ones are 4. 4 twos are 8. Means, not divisible. Not divisible. Next, 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are 10. Again, not divisible. Next, 6 ones are 6. Means, 6 is divisible by 6. So, we can say children. So, we can say 6 is divisible by 1, 2, 3 and 6. So, all these 1, 2, 3 and 6. All these are the factors of 6. This is the way to find the multiples and factors of different digits children. Okay. Now, we will discuss the properties of multiples and factors. Yes children. Now we discuss the properties of multiples. Okay. So let's discuss the first. Yes children. Let's start the first property of multiple. First property. Every number can have infinite number of multiples. A number can have infinite number of multiples. Means a number have infinite number of multiples. You can see. If we read the table of 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, then 5 twos are 15, then 5 tens are 50, then we, we get the 100 in its table, then we get 1000 in its table. So, it will be never ending. We can see, so we can see a number can have infinite number of multiples. Next property, every number is a multiple of 1. So, children, for this again, we just read the table of 1. 1 ones are, 1 1 is 1. 1 twos are 2, 1 threes are 3, 1 fours are 4, 1 tens are 10, 1 hundreds are 100. Here we can see that every number is a multiple of 1. Every number is a multiple of 1. Okay, children? Next, third. Every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to the number. Every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to the number. For this, again we will check the example of 5. So, multiples of 5 will start from 5. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15. Here we can see the smallest means the first multiple is equal to 5. First multiple of 5 is equal to 5 and rest of the multiples are greater than 5. So, this property is every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to the number. Okay. The fourth is smallest multiple of a number and greatest multiple of a number. Let's discuss the smallest multiple of a number and greatest multiple of a number. The smallest, we can also say first multiple. We can also say first multiple or the smallest multiple of a number. First multiple of 5 is 5. First multiple of 7 is 7. First multiple of 8 is 8. And first multiple of 10 is 10. So here we can see the smallest or the first multiple is the number itself. It's the number itself. Got it? And now greatest multiple of a number is infinite. Infinite means we cannot determine. Infinite means we cannot determine. Because there is no end of numbers. Same as there is no end of multiples. If table doesn't have any ending, tables, tables doesn't have any ending. Therefore, greatest multiple of a number is infinite. Okay children, now we will discuss the properties of factors. Now we will discuss the properties of factors. Children, 1 is the factor of every number. 1 is the factor of every number. As 1 is one can divide every number. Every number, all the numbers are divisible by 1 
so one is a vector of every number next every factor of a number is it smaller than or or equal to the number every number every factor of a number is it smaller than or equal to the number for this again we we'll take the example same example six we saw the factors of six were one two three and six one two three and six and for uh, in this example we we can also see the first means the smallest factor the smallest factor was one and the greatest factor was six so the smallest factor of a number is one always and greatest factor of a number is the number itself. So children, these were the properties of multiples and factor, and uh, this is done for today, children. Again, we meet. Thank you, and uh, stay safe at home.